Rise and grind back at you with another video of the Pull Up King. This one we got a 2018 Mercedes Benz C300 4 Matic. And we're doing the transmission service on it. We're going to be doing the fluid change, the filter, and the gasket. I'll show you how we're going to get that done. Let's get it. We have emotion, man. We have emotion, we have emotion. Yeah, yeah. Hey, with another we have emotion, 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 all right, so my customer, he bought all of the parts and supplies. Uh, got an oil pan, a filter, a gasket with that. And your little pieces that go with it. These uh, are held in by E8 bolts. Or you can use a 8 mil. And we're not going to need all of these quartz here. This is the type that he bought straight from the dealer. Alright, so all we're going to need is, I don't know, maybe about six or seven, but we'll see. This is not a whole flush. This is just a fluid and filter change. I didn't know he wanted me to change the pan, but while it's down, got no problem with doing so. Now, this skid plate in the front. I already took that out. Got these bolts holding it in. Eight mil. That's that CVX. So I just done. Check that out in, in the video. Link in the description. But we're gonna get up under here and take off the second skid plate. Now you can see the second one. You gotta get that off. All right, we're gonna get up under here. You can see the pan right here. So, right, we're looking at the front of the pan. I got my little pan down. And I'm going to get my catch pan. I'm going to start taking out these bolts. Alright, man. We got those bolts out. All of them except for this one back here. I'm not sure if I can get a swivel up in there and get that out. Or um, I'm going I'm to figure it out. I hope I don't have to take off this, this brace right here. So what I did, I did loosen up these bolts. I took the bottom bolts out. I probably didn't need to. I loosened these on this side here, took some out. But on the other side, I did take them all out, four bolts, and uh, let it hang so I can get back there and get that bolt loose right there. So that's how I did it. All right, we got the pan down. Let's see. We're ready to come out. See how I got that right there. That mount and that bracket. Don't have it all the way off. Alright, that's the new pan. I, I reassembled everything. I put everything that needed to be in, attached. That there. Alright, it's both the pans out. Alright, so I had to put that in there that piece in there put that filter in place just match it up just like that one and this is the 
the drain port but we're gonna use this here to add the fluid and this is what we added with 7415 it screws in there and then you pump it with your pump we're gonna get there you got that pan back up make sure you clean the surface before you put it back in and uh, time to top it off this right here here we go gonna screw that in all right I don't put like six quarts in here and you can see we set up like there. All right, next what we got to do, we got to start it up. We're going to run it for a few minutes and check on our scanner and make sure it's at 45 degrees Celsius. And then we're going to check to see if we get, need to add more fluid. We're going to continue to do that until when you take that plug out, it's dripping. If it's flowing, then just let it flow until it drips. And that's when you know when it's full. So we want to get it up level. See, I got the back up. Got it on the differential. And we got it level because we want to get it level when we add in the fluid. All right, transmission temperature. 41 degrees Celsius. We got to wait till it gets... To 45. A few moments later. Alright, we there. 45 degrees. So now we're just going to remove the nozzle. Now we got a screen. Now we drinking. looking good so I took that other one out and uh, put the other plug in alright so I just said fuck it and took that that mount completely off 10 mil bolts four of them just so I can get that bolt in there that back bolt I couldn't I couldn't even work with it was able to get it out but couldn't get it back in there the way I got it out so I went ahead and put those bolts in at the bottom and now I'm gonna get those I'm gonna put the jack up under it and raise it up I went ahead and put everything back together that completes this video man I hope it helps out until next time pull up King